Hi, my name is Dr Philip Timms. I'm a consultant psychiatrist and I work for the South London and Morsley NHS Foundation Trust. I've always been interested in why people do or don't take tablets, particularly now that I have to take medication every day myself. So what's the issue? Do people with mental health problems have difficulty taking medication? We all have a difficulty with taking medication, whether we suffer from a physical health problem or a mental health problem. Uh, probably around half of the people who have a long-term condition and who have to take medication won't be taking it often enough to really help. So what I'd like to do is to look at some of the problems that we all have with taking medication and some ways of getting over them. So where would you start? Well, the first thing I think is, is that I understand why my doctor's prescribing this stuff. What's it going to do for me? What side effects might I need to look out for? And how common or uncommon might those side effects be? OK, so you understand why your doctor is prescribing you a medication. And he suggests you a particular one. Well, I'd like to know what the alternatives are, why my doctor thinks that this medication might help me or have fewer side effects uh, than other medications. Obviously I'm also going to, want, going to want to know about any psychological therapies that might be helpful or any ways in which I can help myself. A common question, how likely is a medication to help you? That's tricky. Um, it can sometimes feel as though your doctor is being a bit cagey when they can't give you a, a clear answer to this question. but. Um, but they're not really, because the research can tell me and my doctor that, say, 60 out of 100 people will be helped by a particular medication. What it can't tell either me or my doctor is whether I will be one of the 60 who will be helped by it or one of the 40 who won't. So in a sense, every time a doctor uh, prescribes a new medication for somebody, it's a bit of an experiment. And, and it, it's an experiment that can only work for me as the patient if I feel I can tell the doctor how the medication is affecting me and if he or she takes me seriously, takes what I say seriously. Okay, so what practical problems might crop up once you decide to try medication? The first thing is, can I actually swallow this stuff? Um, some of us find tablets hard to swallow, capsules can be a bit easier and syrup is often or, or obviously easier still. In the last few years, there have been these so-called orodispersible tablets uh, with some medications, and these just fizz up on your tongue, and they're a very easy way uh, to, to take medication. Um, what if you're away from home, away from your usual yeah. routine? Well, remembering to take medication is a massive problem. Um, I only have to take one tablet a day, and I still forget sometimes. So some of the practical steps you can take are, um, for example, to, to do it at the same time every day. You can use the alarm on your mobile, for example, um, or uh, you can pair it. You can do it at the same time as something else you do at the same time every day. Um, I do it when I'm, I take my tablets before I have a shave, for example. But you do run into trouble if your routine's broken if you go off for a few days somewhere. So what I do in that instance is just, just to take a, a small pill box with just the tablets I need for those few days away. And certainly that, 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 that works quite well for me. But even if I've got a system like this, I still sometimes find that I've forgotten whether I have actually taken a tablet or not. And you can get around this by keeping a little a chart that you tick off every time you take a tablet. Or you can ask the chemist to package up your tablets in strips um, so that your tablets are organised by day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. So you can see at a glance whether you've taken your tablets or not. What if you think you're not on the right dose of medication or you just have worries about it? Go and see your doctor. Um, you've got the right to ask your doctor about you know, whether, uh, as the, the, whether it's the right medication, whether you're on the right dose, or it's too little or too much. Um, and if you're unsure about, if you're not comfortable about asking your doctor questions, the, the Royal College of Psychiatrists produces a fact sheet with a list of questions to ask your doctor about your mental health condition or, or your medication, so that might be helpful. What if you decide to stop taking your tablets, or you've taken less or more, or maybe you started taking your tablets intermittently? Let's face it, once, once we're out of the doctor's office, what we do with the tablets is entirely up to us. 
Um, I can decide to take, try to take them as the doctor has prescribed them. I can decide not to take them at all, or I can decide to take them when I feel I need them. Um, the important thing is, just, is to just tell your doctor what you're doing with it, because he or she really won't know what's going on. It makes it much more difficult for uh, the doctor to, to, help, to help me if they don't know uh, what I'm doing with my, with my medication. Okay. The, I've referred to, 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 uh, to a few leaflets that I hope you can get access, you, 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 you can find through the links that will accompany this video.